Hello folks, and welcome back to Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. As always, of course, I'm Falcon, your host. Last time we did the coronation and saw Ceres crown the, the queen, the first ever queen of Skellige. And then we went and tried and met up with Ermion the Druid and Yennefer, our good lady friend, and used a special item, a... a Mask of Ouroboros, which actually I still have. It's even broken, though. Uh, where the hell is it? Hmm. There it is. Broken Mask of Ouroboros. Because apparently using it breaks it. It can be used once. In one instance of time. Um. And we discovered that this actually apparently happened before. Siri went to Velen and all the other previous times that we have encountered her. Um, however, following that, she, uh, the Wild Hunt was after her, and we've discovered that the Wild Hunt has also been seen somewhere else. So we are going basically to go find out um, what happened, or why else the Wild Hunt is in the area. Possibly could be involving her was some time later, so it's possible that she's back. Uh, in the meantime, these are the guys that have the... These are the guys that have the, uh, the quest that we've been attempting to do for a while. Oh man, you guys do some damage. Take your free health, though. Ow! Okay, that, that hurt. That really hurt. We'll fix you soon. Oh, really? Suck. Alright. So, do one of you actually have the damn sword this time? Oh, good. Found the sword. Well, he took us. 10 attempts. To actually find the damn thing. Okay, it wasn't 10 attempts, but it was like 3 or 4 attempts to find it. So, oh, this is good, finally. Finally managed to find it. Are there more guards? Four of you the thieves over here? Yes? Come on! We'll take that as a yes. You guys are, are of a slightly lesser quality than those dudes were, but... Nevertheless, oh, I'm going to assume... ...that you are... ...associated. Ow! Oh, oh, damn it! Oh, I couldn't dodge! The stupid rock was in the way! That's some bullshit right there. That is some bullshit right there. I tried to dodge roll and there was a rock right there. So when I tried to dodge, it didn't work. That's some shit right there. That is some shit. Probably my own fault though. I kinda went running in there when I didn't have this is help. Well, attack me, but he's supposed to just stare at me. And now you die. Cool. Well, not only did you get sliced into bits, but you burst into flames. Come on, come close. Oh, really bad time. That was less bad for you. That's less bad for you. Right. You can see the um places that you can see the lights across the way there. Must be uh, really a harbor. Which I haven't been to, but the way uh, I did try to go to this location. This place is I don't think I can beat this guy. It was a level thirty cyclops, and I don't think I can beat him. Like, I might be able to beat it, but it, it would be, it would take some serious doing. So, I think... Or dudes? Well, let me check it out, because I'm curious if it has a... Oh, it does. I'm curious if it has a location marker on it, but it does indeed. Oh, ow! I totally, I totally blocked that. Oh, someone's really bullshit on that one. <laughs> Oh. Some more? You didn't want any more. 
You really didn't. Fortunately for you, you're kind of stupid, so you tried to take me on anyway. Despite how terrible of an idea it was. Excuse me for a second, there's a spider on the wall. I must squish. Squish and eliminate before it causes problems. Hey, you're my kitty. Calm down. This is the same uh, recording session as the last two episodes. Uh, I don't remember which one of the last... Literally the last episode or the one before that. It's freaking the hell out. And he's actually unconscious at the moment. So she calmed down. In fact, did more than calm down. She fell asleep. And she freaked out so much that she uh, <laughs> eventually passed out. Ew. Oh, that's a whale. That's a weird ass looking whale, and that is pretty damn disgusting. This must be, um. The tide and water. Um. Currents and stuff must, uh, force the whales to each themselves here constantly uh, if to have that kind of number of corpses and whatnot and that kind of setup so we have to go back to the one place to do that almost also have to go to win hard from grimmest I might do because we're not too far away from that so I'm somewhat not inclined to do that but Real quick, where do we have to go for this? Because I would like to do this quest this time, but I have to see. We have to go for it. Under. We have to basically just ride south from the druid's camp. Maybe the palisade, because there's really nowhere else that we have been uh, that is even close to those locations. So, first. I, really I want to go try and fight this guy, but I really don't think I'm going to be able to get away with it, so. I think I'm going to say no. Despite the desire to go wreck his face. I don't think this will happen. I don't think I can manage it. Alright, so we could fast travel. It probably is faster than fast go, travel, so go. I guess I will. Because uh, I want to try and get as much done this episode as possible. Uh, so we will fast travel to there, ride up, we will play Grimmest. Um, normally I, I don't, I wouldn't particularly want to show more Gwent uh, on camera, but this is an actual quest. Uh, this is, um, you know, just random Gwent with some random, oh, I'm going completely in the wrong damn direction. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. Run, I apologize. Roach. And this idea where I was even, what direction I was even headed in there. Completely the wrong way, wherever it was. Completely the wrong direction. So, it's only because it's a quest. Wanted to ask. Not only. I've told you what you must do. Why you still? Mm -hmm. Apparently, we have to complete his quest before he will play us. So, suppose we'll just do that because everything else we have to go back to care trolled for, and I don't want to do that just yet. So, uh, I guess deliver these to these and. Uh, Go from there. Hey there. Oh, I did say that. Ride to the fast travel point. Nope. Oh, it's trees. That, oh no. I guess. Close enough. Basically, it's the tree. Alright, so let's jump over to there. We'll talk to this guy, try and convince him, and then from there, we can ride from there as well. It might as well. It's very little difference. At the end of the day, so we will ride from here down to those other two locations to try to complete this quest. Um, 
And if we have sufficient time, we'll go a little bit further south. That would be Once the I other... Begin, you must all enter your homes, shut the windows, lock the doors. I don't like this. Shouldn't be risking your life for us. To me, this meat's got worms. Do as you say. Worms. What's going on? That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me. Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. Huh. A man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Grimmest wants to. Grimmest wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him for old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear that... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you can help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself so fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure. Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Uh, before I do that, I need to see if, if this place has... I don't think it does, though. I need to go see if the place has... Let's see what this place is. The big ass, uh... Building, whatever that is. Huge. The building that's even close to that big on the entire freaking island is the, uh... Care Troll. Oh. Care Troll is bigger, but the only thing that's... Vaguely on that scare, scale is Care Troll. Almost as big as that is. I wonder what that building is. Dude. But, uh, that will be another time. Anyway. Uh, I don't see a repair place, so I'm going to have to use a air kit. Then. An armor kit, ninety weapon. All right. Well, I guess we're using one of these then. It's fine because I've got a crap ton of them. All right. So there's seventeen. One of these, eighty-five. We can use another one and just takes all the way back up to one hundred percent. Oops. It's a rare experience that you actually really need to repair your arm, your stuff outside of the uh, uh, animal sacrifice. Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. Yeah, probably. Probably a wise decision on that. Skooka! Swarm! Fatna! Hala! Ah, it's starting. You got your wolf. Somehow you are... Oh, Foglets. Hey, buddy. Here you don't want to. As you might have been. Silly. More. Come on! Come on! Hey, 
idiot, so of course. a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah yes, unfortunately they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. Why? For the best. Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Sure. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. Fair enough. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Indeed. Will you go see Grimace now? Will you now? go see Grimace now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have her to help him with his ritual. Till then. <laughs> gladly have a drink. What you're going to say? Because this is no, sort of no actual ritual, and just you having a drink. Why he wants such a fine drink from this abandoned distillery that he can't really get a drink from because, you know, it's working anymore. Probably very dangerous to go there. So who the hell better than a witcher to go get acquire you this very dangerous to, to find alcohol. Also, I really don't know that I really necessarily need to know that much about alchemy, to be honest. All things considered, because uh, I can make some hell out of alchemy potions and probably make better potions than this guy to make. Just we're honest with ourselves. Okay. Kind of follow the road for a minute. But as we get past the lake here. We want to kind of get off the road and go our own path, like right now. Avoid this place, we've been here already, so this doesn't do anything for us to find it again. Come on. Move it, shall we? Lost it, of course. Why does that hit the storm, though? Done quite a. Pretty job creating the storm. Alright, so what are we here for? Come on now. Ah. Uh. I can't pick you up. Okay. Pollen on the leaves still. Someone picked the bloom recently. Ah. Uh, another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Grenis has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerged drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Grenis to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. But even we know not to venture to some parts of the island. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A lesion? An axibrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, 
those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Uh, let's go together. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. And if there's a monster, you could use the help flower. of a monster. Too. Petals. Hoof prints, but a bipeds. That's a bit more of a piece than I was uh, expecting. That is not the I have to do some major editing uh, coming up here, and you will all discover why when we find it, but almost certain I might even be able to guess. Footprints. Some fresh, others faded, all leading in the same direction. You might be able to guess. What have we seen in this game so far that walks on two legs, has hooves? You've seen one or two of them. You might be able to figure it out if you watch the whole series or no game. Oh, no, no. So, to pause the game here for a second, I need to take a timestamp because I know I will have to edit some stuff here. Uh, I have actually seen this particular thing on YouTube before, but I have no particular desire to uh, get myself into trouble. So, I will be editing out a good chunk of what's about to occur. And for that, I apologize. I will explain anything that gets edited out afterwards. Stop, please. <laughs> or anything that I know will have to be Oh, out this is great. No, no, stop. <sighs> please. You found your druid. Stop it, that tickles. Yeah. <laughs> I see through your eyes. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one. Basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. The one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? Don't generally couple with witches. Especially not out of gratitude. Most of this is going to have to be cut out. You might see a few of these little scenes here. You might see this particular instance. Because you, we can read it here. I'm glad you take my side. I'm afraid to be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witchers, especially not out of gratitude. Now, she is, of course, a succubus. She's naked. Uh, upper body naked. Uh, so, this will have to be greatly edited out. But, she said that. I helped her out. The druid wanted to kill her. Which you can probably see that part. Uh, but she wasn't doing anything to really hurt the druid that uh, he came here looking for. Uh, and it's not no reason to kill her, so I said, but it's not. There are other ways to pay me. Now, I don't know how much of that you'll see. Uh, I think I can edit it so you can still see her words, read them anyway. But she basically was like, she won't couple with witches because they smell of uh, monster blood, and they, those monsters are her brethren to a degree. So she believes, so she feels, anyway. 
Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I should take. Kind of funny. Um, I'll probably have to edit that part out so I'll let you know what she said to him. Uh, she was like, "Yes, I'll help you to find the Pimpernel." And then he told. She told him, "Go pick some uh, uh, indigo violets." And the guy was like, "Team Blue." He's like, "No, indigo is indigo." Stupid man. <laughs> Sounds like a Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. I um. Hey, okay, sure. Well, I suppose this is the paths that we would follow if um. Still in with her. Because these are the paths that we would be following if she wasn't alive to get us to follow her. Follow her to her lair. Could we move faster, please? Hope you won't run now. Fortunately. Oh, I need to be very careful here, because I'm trying not to uh, get another view of her chest. Without, Pretty, uh, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Wait, what? Oh! Okay. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy. Sure. Thanks. Uh, very, very helpful there, Succubus. Glad I don't have to kill you. I don't want to kill you. Yeah, couldn't you just do that the whole time? Keep your keep your arms over your breasts so we don't have to edit things out that can't be on YouTube. Why oh, thanks. Uh, sorry that that, would, that that druid's probably gonna have to come back and kill you now, but or will try and kill you anyway. He may not succeed at that task, but he may may not succeed at that task. How the hell are we supposed to get up there? I guess we have to follow that room. The horse. Complete this, this quest before we end the episode. Get close to time, but no reason to end it until we actually have accomplished the quest. I'm like a crazy person. Alright, so... Somewhere... See the road... Or... Or running the road. It does. Let's follow the road. How oh, you like that silver? Right to it. Distillery, I think. Oh, sure.
Fuck it. Easy does not describe him. More like wreck my face. That that describes him a little better. Wreck my face definitely kind of. He quite kind of qualifies for that particular one. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh. Very oh. <laughs> again. Have to run out and find how to get up there once more. This is a quicker way. Come on, Roach. Probably not really. We'll follow the line, because the line actually is giving us a possibly slightly shorter route. Albeit probably not by much. We still probably have to come over the road here again. So we don't have to ride around long way quite so much. Let's ignore the Al Ghouls this time. I don't think we care about them, but we didn't get anything really particularly exciting out of the uh, stuff up there behind them. Come on! Come on. Ride, of course. Just pull your sword out there, but say. We ride you right into the, uh, into the place. Again. Probably not a good idea though. Probably don't want to be on the horse to fight the dude. Kinda of funny though. Be kinda of fun. Uh, breath's down right uh. Alright, yeah, I think we wanna use slow. Uh. I think that's probably a good idea. Uh. Oh wow, that hurt. Uh. Well, I got the shield up before he hit me, so I didn't actually do that. Uh, That's the shield, but... He almost died. Uh, 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 Cyclops won't bother good. me anymore. Can look around peacefully now. Indeed. Looks to be you. We got. Yeah. What we got? Yeah, nothing interesting. Oh, up those. Does. Feel like it. Hey, okay, what do we got? What do we got here. Hey, okay, fairly. We have to brew. There you go. Have the need to find the recipe, and then I, I guess we have to actually brew it here. I think I am guessing. Actually, be brewed here once we find the uh, recipe. Get up here. That was a bottle. Distilling recipes. Ah. Parchment's a little faded, but legible. Okay. Uh, give me one last chance. Either do everything properly, or your apprenticeship is over and you can start packing your bags. Here are your instructions. Read them twice to make sure they make it into your watery brain of yours. Put the mash in the evaporator. Light the fire into the evaporator. Cool the condenser. First turn the right level, the right lever, then the left. Not the other way around. Now, is that hard? No, the answer is no, so get to work. Don't toss rotten malt out behind the distillery. Dump it in the stream. Otherwise, someone will catch a whiff of something and come investigate. Fill this log.
And beast comes around again, refused to go until I poured some spirit in the basin, until I filled it to the brim. I drank all in one slurp and left. But a week's passed and it's come back again. I threw stones to chase it off, then it threw stones back and broke through my ribs. Howled and screamed till I poured some more. Gone through my ledger, the plowing beast drank half my supply. I shan't give another drop no matter what. Time I called for a witcher. Yeah, well, apparently you were a little late on that one, because he came into your place, killed you, and uh, wrecked your operation. Drank all of your stuff. That was left. Anyway. What does Mash be found? Oh. Mash being the, um, the mix of... Oh, there it is. Mash being the mix of materials that you would do up for making... A no, go up, you freaking idiot. Got lucky. Bit of mash left. Here's where the mash goes. Probably. Let's read this again real quick. Just make sure we get this right. Mash in the evaporator. Light the fire. Cool the condenser. Right, then left. Okay. Of this. Oh, let's do this. Here's where the mash goes. What? That's weird. That was strange. done. Now to boil the mash. Ought to be right. enough. Time to cool it down. Right. And then laugh. Well, well. Turns out I'm quite the distiller. Sweet. Alright, so we'll use the fast travel point that's right outside here to zip the dude our way up or back to Grimace. So we can return all of the various things that he wanted to him. Uh, however, well, we can we can fast travel down that back to the grotto. That's fine. I was gonna say, however, I should go to the grotto first. To do that other quest, but we'll do that next time because we're actually out of time. So we go turn in the quest to Grimace and call it a day. Because I don't actually have sufficient time to do this. Alright, did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the Inner Circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. As you wait. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a meddler. Suffice to say, it's a burning murder now. Shoot! <laughs> Actually, I actually meant to say the, um, yes, master, but it did work. Um, okay. Oh, that is not the button I want. Wait until the next day. All the way till the next day. We have to go a full 24 hours. And they're drunk. <laughs> we must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, as the bears from Moss Garden. And spirit from Hale Hell. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. 
finally something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Good. I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only druids are the inner circle. Circle, Smirkle. Let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourself some. Good. Let the lessons begin. Study hard, drink hard. That's what I like. Drink hard and study hard. I like the idea. Yeah, yeah. I call it stimulation and a simulation. First you stimulate, and then <laughs> you assimilate. I shut down. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this, and go. Who said old age is a burden? Really? It's the end of the quest. Um... Oh, oh, see, see, see it. Even, even now, I see it. What is doing that? There is like a bunny running across the light that's on that door, but it's like not like an actual bunny. It's like a um, a paper cutout of a bunny going, like, making a shadow on it. Or something. What, what do you want? Got anything sell. to sell? I do. That uh, doesn't matter. Hopefully you have money. Things. Those are freaking expensive things, actually, but... Oh, okay. I guess I'll take them. So I want to complete my ability to do all of these, so... We'll take those. And will you buy anything useful from me? Currently not. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Go buy some of this stuff over though. Tell you vast quantities of that and get most of my money back. But I don't care. Alright, you know what? I'm actually not gonna show the Gwent thing with him on camera because there's really not much point. Well, that was not quite as long as I was afraid of. Gwent, if your question is, would I be interested in playing you? The answer is simple. No. No. Afraid of losing? I understand. Very well. I drove your deck. Win. Now give you my best card. Good. Exactly what we want. What kind of deck you have? Ah, an elf guard opponent. Be good. Or terrible. Depending on precisely how it goes. Shit, I don't have a single spy. More things to pick spies up with. Oh, oh good. The last oh my god, you didn't give me one. Probably just fucking forfeit. <sighs> At least I have a revive card, so. I realistically, like literally probably should forfeit though. Because not having a spy card is probably going to kill me. I don't anticipate actually being able to win this without a spy card. He doesn't have spy cards himself, in which case, it'd be real easy. Yeah. Worst ability from... Oh, your uh, hero card you can get. Alright, well, I'll counter your Siri with my Geralt, that does the same thing, basically. That was useless, that was a terrible play. Why would you do that? Seriously, that was terrible. Why would you... Okay. Okay. Oh, whatever. Ah. 
hill now. Uh. Oh, let's kill that. I'll remove a good chunk of stuff from your deck. Your revive? I'm actually okay with that. I would rather you waste it on that than something more important. Like, damn near anything you could have played would be, could have used that on would be important. We pass finally. Unfortunately, don't have any good cards left though. I don't know what the hell you have, but. Probably more than I can survive. I'm honest about this. Actually, kind of a bad decision. I'll go lie. Really, really. So let me win without even trying to fight me. Basically. All right, Phil. That said, I'm going to wreck your face as thoroughly as it's possible for me to wreck it, and we'll just call it a day. You won. I believe you're ready to challenge Madman Lugos. I do wonder if he'll agree to play you for his catacan. Mysterious Elf! Finally! I've only been trying to get that card for like a million fucking years. How do I not have you in? Oh yes, I'll take another spy card that happens to work for every deck. Hell yeah. Okay, well, that'll be the end of this episode, folks. So, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I will see you all next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.